If you plan on camping without full hookups for an extended period of time, it's probably a good idea to get a portable waste tank. What is it exactly and how do you use it? Well, you're about to find out. Essentially, it's a small tank with two to four wheels that allows you to empty the contents of your RV's holding tanks and transport them to the nearest dump station safely without moving your RV. They come in various sizes and due to the nature of its function, also have various fun nicknames such as an RV tote tank, blue boy, honey pot, toilet tote, cutlass supreme, toot wagon, little dumpy, and poo poo train, just to name a few. Let everyone know your personal go-to nickname in the comments section as I'm sure there are plenty I missed. There are of course several benefits to using a portable waste tank. The main one being that they allow you to camp at sites without full hookup for an extended period of time as it eliminates the need to completely disconnect your RV to dump your tanks. They're also meant to be towed slowly behind your tow vehicle from your campsite to a dump station to make transport that much easier. Using the portable waste tank is pretty easy as well. On the tank itself, you'll see either one or two round three inch openings. If the tank only has one of these, this will act as both the fill and dump opening. If there are two, the one on top of the tank is the fill opening and the one on the side is the dump opening. You'll also see a small waste tank vent on the top, which we'll get into shortly. To use the tank, the first thing you'll wanna do is connect a 90 degree clear elbow to the fill opening on top of the tank. Next, you'll attach one end of the sewer hose to your RV waste termination and the other to the clear elbow on the portable waste tank, and then open the waste tank vent. After that, you'll dump your tanks just like normal, emptying your black tank first and gray tank second. It's imperative you pay attention to the level of waste in your portable waste tank as they typically have less capacity than your RV's waste tanks. Next, you'll close the waste vent and detach the sewer hose from your RV. If you have a side port, then simply attach that same end to the dump opening on the side of the portable waste tank. If you only have the top port, remove the sewer hose and cap the tank. You can then transport the tank either by hand or by hooking it up to your truck hitch and slowly towing it to the nearest dump station. I recommend not going over five miles per hour. Once the dump station, if you have a side opening, disconnect the clear elbow from the fill opening on top, replace the fill opening cap, and set the hose in the sewer dump. Next, you'll simply open the waste tank vent and pull the handle on the dump opening to empty the tank. As things start slowing down, you may need to tilt the tank slightly to completely empty it. If your tank doesn't have a side port, uncap the top opening, connect the clear elbow and sewer hose, put the other end of the hose in the sewer dump station and lift the tank upright. Next, you'll wash the tote tank out by attaching the dump station's rinse water hose to your tank. There may be a direct connection to do this, or you may need an adapter that fits in the tank vent, depending on the tank you have. You then will simply turn on the water and gently rock the tank back and forth until you see the water in the elbow run clear. You can then shut off the water, disconnect the rinse hose, and replace the tank vent cap, and then tilt the tank to remove any remaining water. The tank should be completely empty before closing the gate valve on the dump opening and removing your sewer hose. If you're just starting out RVing and want to know how to properly dump your RV tanks or use a black tank flush, then you definitely want to watch these videos.